Good evening and welcome to the 7.30 Ashtanga Yoga class. I'm Amanda Yogi and I will lead you through your practice tonight. Are there any new students, new to yoga or just new to my class? A special welcome to you. We will now start in a cross-legged seated position at the top of our mat. You will notice that the serious students have their own mats, which they bought in a nice, quiet yoga store full of incense and herbal oils and other peaceful things. The rest of you are hacks. <laughs> oh. Now come to Tadasana. You will notice that I use the Sanskrit names for the poses. I do this intentionally and for two reasons, to show off my own expertise in the field, but mainly to make my new students feel more inadequate than their own. <laughs> I invite you now to hop or step back into Chaturanga and flow forward into Adva Mukha Svanasana. <laughs> Be aware that in this pose, the soles of your unpedicured, uh, ashy, flaky feet are on full view to the person behind you. <laughs> they are thinking you are gross. <laughs> and now you can move back into Adho Mukta Svanasana or downward facing dog. <laughs> I love the looks on my new students' faces as they cling to the English name of the one pose they are familiar with. <laughs> I'd like to throw them these crumbs. <laughs> we will now hop or step forward into Utkatasana. Repeat after me, Utkatasana. There is an Indian girl in the corner and she confidently repeats the names mm. of the poses after me, not because she has a clue of what to do physically, but because she's familiar with the language. In my mind, I call her a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> we will now explore Natraj Asana. Balancing poses are my personal favorite because they make my new students feel a combination of anger and humiliation and frustration all at the same time. <laughs> Many of you will stumble and probably fall, but before that you will hop around clumsily, arms flaying this way and that. You will not look cool and we will be laughing on you. <laughs> I now invite you to lie down and explore Halasana. In this pose, you can view the full extent of the damage that eating and drinking like a bunch of pigs <laughs> has had in your stomach area. <laughs> the folds of fat have nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. T-shirts will roll down and expose you not only to yourself, but to the entire class. And believe me, we are watching. <laughs> I now invite you to move up into Salamba Sarvangasana, yet another Another self-esteem lowering pose. <laughs> At the end of the pose, the women in my class can feel the full extent of their feminine shame because of the way up air will have lodged itself in your vaginal cavities. <laughs> and on the way down, a loud and embarrassing pussy fart will be. <laughs> Speaking of pussy farts, I'm sorry. The men in this class will simply think that you farted and that you are gross. <laughs> Speaking of men, I do know that they are here to hit on me and they are hoping that I come around adjusting their bodies into the poses, touching them in inappropriate places. <laughs> and now for the final pose, Tanushri Sasana. This is a difficult pose that even my advanced students cannot do. So they look at me in envy. It is why I am the teacher. It is my moment of glory. It is my moment of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 